is Tuesday, February 20th, and this is Tommy Media's News in 90. I'm Miles Schiffer. A court in the Russian capital ruled Tuesday to keep Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich in custody pending his trial on espionage charges that he denies. Gershkovich and the Journal have denied the espionage allegations, and the U.S. government has declared him to be wrongfully detained. Russian authorities haven't detailed any evidence to support the espionage charges. Court records show that the man who killed himself after fatally shooting two police officers and a firefighter in Burnsville wasn't legally allowed to have guns after a previous assault conviction. Authorities on Monday identified 38-year-old Shannon Gooden as the man who opened fire on police after they responded to a domestic disturbance call early Sunday. Authorities said Gooden killed 27-year-old officers Paul Elmstrand and Matthew Rouge and 40-year-old Adam Finseth a firefighter and paramedic assigned to the city SWAT team. A group of about 18 people gathered on the corner of Summit and Creton Avenues on Monday morning to protest the building of the new Lee and Penny Anderson Arena on South Campus. The group, Advocates for Responsible Development, is made up of residents of neighborhoods near campus. They filed a petition with the Minnesota Court of Appeals against the University of St. Thomas on November 1st. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Miles Schiffer.